Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 118, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. And we're making our way through the administrative area, trying to get a lay of the land. Um, we know that everybody is super mad at the Jedi. They blame them for everything. One guy already kind of figured out that we were a Jedi. Uh, we're finding some locked doors in all the interesting places. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure something will come of that later. So let's do the other hall and then we'll head into the main administrative area and start all the real fun. Uh, okay, nothing to pop out on the map there. I, I like exploring the whole map, all the map. Private door. This door is magnetically sealed, too. Security door. Locked. Yep, lots of locked doors. I can't tell if that's to uh, limit you while keeping the original model, or... No, there, there's too many of them. Something is going to come of those. Alright. Well, that's it for the hallway. Uh, <laughs> Alright, on to the main room. I also don't like the ominous music. I mean, we're, yes, we're in admin. We're about to go see the principal. Uh, but, uh, is, what are we walking into? Settlers and salvagers are always at odds. I, for one, will be glad when the ruins run dry as salvage. Yeah. Don't hold your breath. A visitor, please come in. Welcome okay. to Thunder. I am administrator. You bear a striking Dillian resemblance to somebody we're going to see in a future episode. Ship that just landed. Uh, the, um, ship that just landed? That uh, ship's one of the fastest in the galaxy. This hunk of junk will... No, never mind. I'm not going to go there. It's a pleasure to meet you. Depending on your <laughs> business here, the pleasure may be mutual. But you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? Uh... Why do you want to know? I'll take it as a given that the vessel is indeed yours. Okay. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel oh. has been on Dantooine before. Um, that was a sounds like we were going to be made no matter what happened. Um, don't tell me you want to collect the bounty. Uh, I'd prefer to keep that quiet. That is an unfortunate truth. <laughs> and a wise request, oh, which good, of course good. I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. Yeah, I remember the old Jedi that. masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. Oh, that's I still good. maintain discreet connections with Jedi. Okay. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. Uh, I'm looking for Jedi. Could you tell me who you're talking about? The Force seems to have guided me here for a reason. Indeed, true coincidence seems very rare <laughs> in the affairs of the Coincidence is not a kosher you, word. My friend, let's just call him Frock. We've known each other for many years. Oh, really? And our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Ain't that the truth? not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing oh. recently. Did He's he gone missing, you, you say? Something went wrong. He sent for me. No, he didn't send for me, but I would like to meet with him. What happened to him? Uh, he didn't send for me, but I would like to meet with him. Brooke and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and All hasn't right. returned. So I guess that's where I I'm going to have to go. level is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? Um, I actually came here to, uh... Search the Enclave ruins anyway. This could work to both of our advantage. You can search for artifacts for your own interest and also for Brooke at the yeah, same time. that works. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave security door. Go expecting danger. <laughs> for you <laughs> almost certain. Yeah, I, I, I'm expecting danger. Else I can assist you. Ooh. Um, what are the dangers of the sub-level? Like many parts of Dantooine, the sub-level of the Enclave has become infested with dangerous creatures. Yeah, Large, I noticed. Large, vicious insects called Lagrex have made the sub-level oh. their home. 
Several salvages Do they have reported big have been fangs and by the nasty Nurgrix. pointy teeth. I would expect a Jedi to fare better against the creatures than the salvages. Mm. But Vrook has not returned in some time. Well, I mean, is there anything else I can assist you with? Uh, is there any work I can do here? There are plenty of opportunities to assist people on Dantooine. Too many, I'm okay. afraid. I would go to the militia headquarters Already done and that. make your intentions known there. Besides that, just listen and ask around. Uh, do the people really hate the Jedi? To most people in the galaxy, yeah. the distinction between Sith and Jedi is a blurry one, especially since most Sith were once Jedi. That's It is complicated that's fair. by the fact that Malak and Revan were great heroes of the Republic and famed Jedi Knights. But a few years yeah, later, well, they were know, leading we, an We try not to talk about that for... Her. And here on Dantooine, the Jedi Enclave provoked a brutal occupation by the Sith. It could have been far worse, but even now the damage has not been fully mended. Um, can anything be done about it? I don't think oh, quit hates stretching and yawning if back just there. A few people changed their minds or spoke up. It could make okay. a deal of difference. Well, I convinced I one person to already uh, speak yeah. up, so... If the Jedi's reputation isn't redeemed, the consequences could be yeah. quite regrettable. Well, it then, will be. I would keep your identity secret. Okay, what can you tell me about the people of Dantooine? Who do you want to know about? There are three groups of people. Settlers, salvagers, right and mercenaries, you say. Salvagers, and the mercenaries. All right. Uh, tell me about the settlers first. Dantooine How are they faring on Catan? The oh, Dantooine. Sorry. A couple of generations ago, this world was still untamed. We made great progress. In no yeah, I remember that. Due to the Jedi, but recently half half my quests were running around, around hunting During hunting the war, beasties. The most prominent settler families either fled or were executed by the Sith. Losing their resources and the Jedi was too great a loss. But now we are organizing and starting to truly work together. Once we achieve that, I am confident Dude, you can keep that yawning and stretching in the background there. Prosperous again. All right. Uh, <laughs> you you don't seem convinced by that. No, I suppose I'm not. We need the Republic and always have. We aren't self-sufficient yeah. and we need aid. The fate of the Telos project is intimately tied to our own. Oh, really? The most humanitarian elements of the Senate have put their careers at stake in the rebuilding okay. of Telos. Okay, okay. If those efforts succeed, their prominence will grow and... So you, you need the, the environmentalists to uh, win there. There are colder, more authoritative elements in the Senate that could come to power. <laughs> they would think nothing of leaving the strategically unimportant worlds to their own devices. That would be a tragic day for Dantooine and many other worlds. Yeah, The Republic well. is in flux. Let's not talk about the Senate. Alright, uh... What are the salvagers doing? They are a necessary inconvenience. Money has ah. been a great concern to us ever since the Sandrals and Matales were removed <laughs> during the Jedi Civil War. Yeah, the about those two families. Just cover basic maintenance. But they were to the two that were fighting in the first Knights of the Old Republic uh, game. So we had to exploit a valuable resource we had. The ruins of the Jedi Enclave. It was not a decision lightly made. And even then, we couldn't do the work no. ourselves. Too dangerous. And every settler matters on our small world. So we opened the door to enterprising salvagers. Okay. The salvagers you see now are the last remnants of that force. Oh. The tithe we took from their claims sustains what semblance of government you see. Oh, that's okay. Uh, what are you going to do when the ruins are empty? We plan on using those credits to improve production and protect our world. We have enough to sustain ourselves until more prosperous. Time. Okay. And you coexist happily with them? We tolerate their presence because we must. Okay. And they generally follow our laws. But their time is almost over. The Jedi Enclave's sub-level is the only place left oh. for reasonable salvage. <laughs> but it has too many dangers for them. The salvages aren't warriors. Generally, they are out-of-work miners or cast-offs from other worlds. All right. Uh, so tell me about the mercenaries. Mercenaries have been a problem for Dantooine since yeah, the I end of the Mandalorian have. Wars. When the Jedi Enclave was here, they were firmly kept in check. But now, hmm. relations are uneasy between us. Yeah, that was another one of the quests, was uh, clearing out the Mandalorian mercenaries no that were on the planet. Very good at his job. Until they hmm. find work, tensions will grow. If you want to know more, I suggest you talk with Varun in the militia headquarters. He would have more details. All right, I think we got that. Uh, is there anything else we can talk about? Certainly. Okay. Nope. That appears to be it. 
I still don't like the ominous music. Relics of the past, we got permission to go to the Enclave Ruins, and we know now about the secret connection with Master Vork. And I believe that is about as much mapped out as we can. That's the Militia Headquarters, Defense Droid Station, and Workbench. Storage and a medical... Okay, so we can't get into those. We got a bunch of other locked doors. I'm pretty sure we'll get to those before too long. Let's go ahead. I, I, got a, I got a bad feeling about this. Let's go ahead and save. And, um... Let's, uh, swap you out for... a more capable droid. Hmm. Who could stand to level up? Let's level him up real quick. Let's, uh... Yeah, sure. There we go. Actually, there we go. Okay. Feats. All the feats. Okay, that's right. We've been getting him caught up on precise shot. And each one is bumping up the uh, attack done with ranged weapons. Uh... I'm tempted to, to bump up his blaster pistol proficiency too, but I, I don't know that it would matter as much. Um, or I could just give him another one of those components. I, th I think he has the one that I, he would need. I'm not going to give him two weapon fighting. Although it wouldn't hurt. No, because blaster rifles are his best way. Let's, um... Hmm... Let's do the next level of toughness first. And then we'll do the next uh, precise shot. And then keep uh, continuing along that, that line. Ooh. Even more. Alright. Uh, this is a tough one. Because he doesn't have implants, and constitution doesn't matter for the various droid modules that we can install. What level droid he is matters. Although, given that he's one of my bruisers that I usually carry around when uh, somebody needs to go enforce things, having the extra hit points from a 16 constitution wouldn't hurt, and then bumping up decks from there. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's do that. And skills, I want to keep his repair maxed out because that's what that gets used in the um, repair kits that the droids use to heal themselves. All right, let's do our next level of precise shot. Oh, okay, that's all. Um. Yeah, because he's already got the Warfare upgrade, so that gave him all the Blaster Pistol feats automatically. So there's no point in actually giving him any of those. Uh, oh, yes, that's right. He's the one. All right. Uh, I need to I need to move all the upgrades from the Warbowcaster to that Xerxium rifle. Because... Yeah. Yeah. Like, fully kitted out is 10 to 43 damage. Stock is 3 to 25. And, um... Yeah, a lot of that other extra stuff comes from the upgrades. So, I'll need to find a workbench before too long. Okay. Although, I might want to give him a melee weapon if I can. Because he's got the strength to use one. And it's not a... Oh. Oh, he legit cannot equip a melee weapon. Huh. Okay. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, you Are you waiting You're for different. the administrator, too? You won't <laughs> have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. Uh... Why not? Kunda's like a droid without his power cell. Useless. We have problems hmm. all over, and the most you can get out of the administrator is a pat in the back. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. 
I need justice now. I fought in the war. Okay. And I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator oh. or Zeron doesn't oh, do my. something, then I will. Uh, what exactly is your problem? Salvagers are the problem. Ah. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. Then they sell what they find back to us at inflated prices. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. Okay. Uh, the salvagers stole your equipment? Well, yes and no. Ah. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. Okay. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Oh, the okay. The came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. Okay. Are you sure it's a salvager and my not a mercenary? The closest to the Enclave ruins. It has to be someone nearby. And if the mercenaries wanted it, they'd just take it in broad daylight. Unless they're trying the to blame the salvagers. Besides that is the salvager camp, so it has to be them. You ever met one of them? Thievery wouldn't be too far a stretch for any of them. The other Ouch. day I had to take a shot at one of them. Soon someone is going to get killed, and Dantooine has enough trouble without that. Ain't that the truth. Uh, what did they steal? A lot of farming equipment. It's not even valuable, just important for the moisture vaporators <laughs> and hydro processors. The thief must be Yeah, yeah you crisis. say that, but it must be useful for something. Is there anything I can do to help? I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to this salvager camp, and convince the salvager Joran to return my yeah. modulator. Okay. I would be very grateful. I'm not yeah, rich. We could try but it. I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. Uh. <laughs> if you want my help, you have to cough up more than a couple of dusty old war trophies. Where is the salvager camp? It's right next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. Oh. You can't miss them. Thanks. All right. I'll see what I can do. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, yeah, just why do I get the feeling you don't believe me? But okay. All right, thief catching. All right. What about you? A lot of people here hate Jedi. Okay. But when they were here, they tried helping us. I don't blame them. Oh, good. Somebody else who actually doesn't blame us. All right, and that takes us out the doors that we didn't use. You, uh... Salvages are just thieves and scavengers. I can't wait until the last of them leave. It's getting dangerous to even come to Kunda. I hear the Kinrath are attacking swoop right. bikes now. What are the odds you got something new to say to me? Another interruption. Yeah, okay. You must not have heard who I am. Yeah, I heard who you are. I just don't care. You must be confusing me for somebody who cares what you think. Don't let me get all Jedi on your butt. Alright. What do I want to do? I need to head and explore the eastern side first and finish filling out that part of the map. And then... And no and then. And then... We can uh, get to finishing up our explorations. What other quest? Oh! So we get the cave crawling quest. We got Lost in the Shadows, Relics of the Past, and... Thief catching. And I don't know why the inventory button is flashing. I keep checking and there's nothing in there. Or nothing that is complaining about. Alright, uh, I'll switch to. Oh! Hi. Let's, uh, swap. Do the wave. And flurry. Most of these beasties don't seem to be too hard. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's, uh... Where's Beodur? Oh, there he is. He's still catching up? Dude. We, we gotta... We gotta do something about that speed, good sir. All right, this way takes us to the Enclave Courtyard, which I think was the same one on the other side. But first... Oh, that, that looks like a place I really ought to go to first. 
And then I'll finish clearing this place out of Kinruff. Let's uh, do the wave. Flurry ho! Oh. Well, that went a little easier. Alright, come on. He's there. We might as well clear it out. <laughs> it doesn't seem fair. Alright, let's uh, switch weapons again. Hope that he doesn't give me flack for that. Alright, let's talk to him first. What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like <laughs> that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. Okay. This is Kinrath territory. I noticed. Kinrath? There was a time when seeing a Kinrath no. was a rare thing. Not the last time I was here, and that was five years ago. South of here. But now, they're everywhere. They're dangerous, too. All right. More mm -hmm. vicious than they used to be. Ain't that I'd the stay truth. away from the eastern side of the plains. And now that I think about it, stay away from the west, too. <laughs> The West is filled with okay. cat hounds. Dantooine is in a sad state these yeah, days. Yeah, not so many cat hounds off to the West. Why have things gotten so bad? Mostly because the Republic has left us to fend for ourselves. Yeah, but you were fending for yourselves before. The only I difference was the Jedi life. Enclave. I understand oh. they're under pressure. But I think hmm. that they'd be able to spare at least something to help us out. All we get is sympathy. Some tea and sympathy? Uh, what do you need from the Republic? Some law and order, for one thing. Oh, okay. Take what I'm doing right now. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to coon on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. Yeah, I just Found talked him to him. Dead in his swoop bike all oh, day. no, different guy. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. Uh, do you suspect foul play? I do. The Kinrath are dangerous, but as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch oh, you. That's fair. I've carefully searched this area okay. and haven't so found anything. This is the second set of useless gear. Sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. Hmm. But Dantooine is temperate. There is no yeah, need for atmospheric you. sensors except for seasonal data. Thank collection. you. That's why I brought you along. It's just important we get it back. They're expensive pieces of equipment, mm -hmm. and we can't afford to replace them. Okay. Regardless, I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something. Uh, why do you really want those sensors? I just really need them. Uh huh. It's important. Please come to me if you find any of the atmospheric sensors. Now I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you find, uh. whether they're broken or not. Any idea where they could be? No idea whatsoever. Okay. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one. But I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. I'll see what I can do then. Alright. Yeah, something just doesn't seem right there. And what's in here? Oh, okay, so he's not going to get all cranky about those. Good. Alright. So far, so good, right? Alright, I just need to finish filling out this area here. Finish mapping out the area, clearing out those critters there. And then, we're going to come back here. Or somewhere this way. Which... Well, that was quick. Alright, somewhere over here is the entrance to the caves, too. Oh. Bam. Delivery. This will go quick. He might even be dead by the time I get... Oh, no. <laughs> well, at least I got to participate in some way. Alright. Alright, where is... The entrance to the crystal caves... We're supposed to be around here somewhere. Oh, that's probably it right there. That uh, that little hole in the wall. Right? Cause that's right, because the cave entrance is one of the... The cave entrance from the first Knights of the Old Republic game is in one of the areas we don't have access to anymore. 
because that's off north of the Metali estate or off away from the Metali estate okay okay uh let's see let's head to the crystal cave but first a break Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.